guys don't know who this this is here, my little friend. He's a blue meanie, and he's from the Yellow Submarine, and that's the Beatles. And uh, it's my friend, the blue meanie. I'm going to give him a little kiss on the nose. Mwah! He's going to come back with Olaf. Sit back here and check. I need the guys around me when I do this. I need people. When I'm working in the studio, I need my friends. And they, they're my friends. Dr. Evil's over there. I got my skull from Mexico. Lava lamps. And I got Howie today. Um, and we're going to check out. This is David Morgan, by the way. This is the Music Shed Reaction Channel. Welcome, Shed Heads. Not shit heads. It's shed heads. So don't don't think I'm calling you a shithead. Some people have thought that. And by the way, I want to tell you guys, I pause a lot. So if you don't like people doing reactions who pause a lot, you may want to skip this one because I pause and I talk and I comment and I react because. OK, um, we're going to check out Coheed in Cambria. Oh, fuck. We're going to check out Coheed in Cambria. Um, the song's called Welcome Home, and it's live from the Guitar Center Sessions. And it's from the album, originally released in 2005. And it's called Good Apollo, comma, I'm Burning, Star 4, comma, Volume 1, colon, From Fear Through the Eyes of Madness. And I literally, from this whole deal, I cannot, I can't wait one more second. Go! Ooh, that looks cool. Guitar Center Sessions. This is cool. I saw one with Joe Walsh. Uh. Oh my god. So you guys will notice also something that I do. What I'm noticing right now is not the music. It's this dude's hair. Oh my God. This guy's got the best freaking rock and roll hair practically that I've, uh, that I've ever seen in my life. Okay. Okay. Now let's get to the music and the set looks amazing. I'm just visually, you know, when I'm watching something, it takes me away from listening a little bit, but that's what we're doing here. But dude. These guys are badass. Gotta love the double neck. Be paid, baby. Ah. Oh. These guys are hitting hard, killer intro, like the melody there was awesome. They're, these guys are just, they're tremendous, tremendous. <laughs> this is Claudio Sanchez on vocals. He has a really unique sound. He's got an incredible range. And uh, the other thing I wanted to mention is vocalists. And I talk about this a lot, looking at most, I'm not all of them, but most of the vocalists that really nailing the pitch and really um, letting everything that's in them come out in a way that's convincing, they are enunciating. And if you look at him and how he's really enunciating his vocals, he's not trying to look cool or like, you know, hip. He wants his vocals to sound as um, intelligible and he wants the pitch to be as on spot on as possible, and that really comes from enunciation. So keep a keep an eye out for that. These guys are tight, drummer, bass, guitar, everything is just slamming. Oh, 
So I just want to, I want to mention, I, you guys, if you've been watching, know that I don't listen to, this is not my go-to music. Um, but when I do listen to and watch more hard rock metal bands, I'm astounded at their technical ability. They're just brilliant technicians. And when it's got the soul, this is infused with such soul um, it's a really powerful combination. I really understand and see why fans are just so diehard for this style of music. I love it. Good background vocals there, too. The guy in the back, I'm going for the visual again, and some people get pissed when I do this, but f fuck it. Um, the guy in the back with the, like, you know, like a polo shirt on, he doesn't look like, he looks like a, he doesn't look like he's a metal drummer, or like a super hard rock drummer. He looks like a, you know, dude wearing a polo, but he's a badass freaking, you know, it's just funny. Nice change there to double time. Uh, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. So you see what the drummer did there? They were still in four, four. So the bands, you know, won. Two, three, four, no, one, two, three, four. And the drummer, usually the kick is on one and three, pretty much, and the snare is on two and four. But he made the snare on one and three and the kick on two and four, and he displaced where one was, and it sounded really cool and it built some tension. Do you Before I get into this, what's going on right now with the guitar and behind the head thing, this guy's solo right here, 
I really liked it because it was it wasn't like a lot of chops, and I feel like we're about to get into chops, which is just like super technique. It was really melodic and really great phrasing. Um, it was more soulful and melodic, and I really, really dig that. <laughs> So these guys are oh with the teeth. Ah. These guys are trading force. And they're gonna speed up too, which is great. With really not too much. Howie, what's that guy's name who just sang that background vocal? Okay, that guy can sing. He sung a high, a B flat. I mean, I mean, I can get maybe like a. Oh, that's with my head voice. What a range, man. I really enjoyed that. It was powerful. It was dynamic. The band just, the vocals were killer. Really melodic, hard rocking, memorable tune. And don't forget about the hair because when you have hair like that, it adds to the show. Okay? That's all I'm saying about the hair. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I did. Please. Like, subscribe, comment, don't comment, hit the bell icon because we have new content coming out very regularly. Shedheads, have a great day. Peace. <laughs>